Hello everyone, this is Saltmail, and today I'm going to teach you guys some simple photo editing in the app Keynote, which is strictly for Mac. Um, this is just so you guys can learn how to do some stuff like graphical interface and just a bunch of stuff like that. So before we start, here's my, what I already made, my design, but I'm just going to show you how to make it again. So you're going to go to Shapes, then down here to this, which is a Create Your Own Shape and then just close out of that and then anywhere in the shape you can start drawing since this is going to be our side view over here I'm going to go ahead and just make our front and you can uh, pull on the mouse back and you can rotate your shape like that and then once you're done rotating it just click there it will take the rotation off so you can continue across um, and I'll show you because if you rotate it like that and but you don't take it off and then you go next it's gonna make a crazy shape um, so you gotta click it off then here we are back here uh, put a little rotation in it take the rotation off and then we'll finish there like that take the rotation off come down a little go across um, that wasn't a perfectly straight line there we go and then come up so there we go, we have a shape, and now you're going to want to color it any color. I'm just going to go with a basic red, so that's the outline of it. To fill the inside, you're going to go to fill. There you go. So we got the front, and here we got this side, which is going to... Let's see if I can line this up perfect. There we go. But it doesn't look like it's part of the car right now. So what you want to do is you want to select it and just bring the um, opacity down. I usually go 70%, eh, actually we should go with 80, which allows you to still see the car, but the paint job's still there. Um, it lightens it up, so if you want it to be a very dark red, make sure you choose a darker red. Alright, so you don't have to redraw the shape to put it on the other side, just do Apple or Command D, drag that little guy down. Um, then you're going to want to go into the inspector. Then you want to make sure you're on the ruler tab and then just hit flip. And it flips the shape. And then you can bring it back over. So, ooh, I wonder how this got moved. But anyway, so when you're developing apps and say you take pictures off the internet and you want to use them within your graphical user interface but you want to still make it look like the interface is behind the app you need to dim the opacity um, plus you're going to be a lot of times you take an image and then you want to put a design on it like this and uh... and it really just uh... doesn't look right so you gotta fit it right flip things around um... we're just going to use the same design in the front and copy that over to the back um, but this time we're going to flip it down. So go to Inspector and hit the flip up button, which now just flipped it down. And you can just drag that down here. And there's our awesome redesigned vehicle. Um, now to put images into your keynote, you can search. We'll make it a cop car, so I'm going to just search up light bar. And. I'll just take the first couple of images that pop up. Um, mama, mama, mama mia. I'll just take this, drag that in there. So, when I pull this in here, it's gonna just clear out any image I drag it over. So, this is where the alpha tool comes in. Alpha is really great. Alpha, you can just go ahead and pull everything out, but you gotta make sure you don't take the parts of the image out and then you're going to clear the text down there oops without deleting the whole image and then you're going to clear out the light bars that you're not going to use um, which are going to be the bottom two or whatever two you don't want to use which leaves you with that top one you're going to drag it down and there you go um, as you see, it still left some text there just because that's some poor editing. Um, you're going to want to duplicate it and then go up here to the inspector and go ahead and flip it around. 
because it's we're looking from it from the back side now. So there we go. We got the basics. Um, so some of you might be wondering, well, how do I get the side view off of this? Uh, it's going to be pretty easy. Just go ahead and take a little screenshot of the blue part of the light bar, and go ahead and take a little screenshot of the red part. And now that they're in there, you can go ahead and drag them on and trash the files. All right. So when the car is facing this way, we see that the blue parts gonna be on the left side of the car. So this side needs to be blue. And go ahead and adjust it, make it look more like a light. And then see how it brought up 15 and 75 to the perfect, so they're the same size. And then the red's gonna be on that side. And there we go. It looks just like a cop car, and that was just some basic photo editing with it. And um, the designs look like they're pretty much, they came on the image like that. So, it's great.